Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Saturday, March 28, week of Lent 4, for all the saints, a reading Flannery O'Connor, 1925-1964. I think there is no suffering greater than what is caused by the doubts of those who want to believe. I know what torment this is, but I can only see it in myself anyway, as the process by which faith is deepened. A faith that just accepts as a child's faith, and all right for children, but eventually you have to grow religiously as every other way though some never do. What people don't realize is how much religion costs. They think faith is a big electric blanket when, of course, it is the cross. It is much harder to believe than not to believe. If you feel you can't believe, you must at least do this. Keep an open mind. Keep it open toward faith. Keep wanting it. Keep asking for it. And leave the rest to God. When we get our spiritual house in order, we'll be dead. This goes on. You arrive at enough certainty to be able to make your way, but it is making it in darkness. Don't expect faith to clear things up for you. It is trust, not certainty. This from the habit of being. The prayer anonymous. O Lord, I now realize in very truth that not every man hath faith. I believe, O Lord, but help my unbelief. Do not break the bruised reed nor quench the smoking flax. O Jesus Christ, thou who sittest at the right hand of God, make intercession for me, that my faith faileth not. Be the author and finisher of my faith, that I may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Though I see not, yet may believe, and thus be saved. Amen.